silly chickens. There you go. We'll grow some of these in the backyard. Whoa, look at that one's head back there. It looks like your head. Hey. That one's fluffy. Those are uh, big weird spotted birds. Look what I found. What is it? Poop. Hmm. Poop. Yeah, that's poop. You mean the other one? Oh, he's pecking at his feathers. <laughs> hey, Hadley, you want to not antagonize the birds, please? It's a fluff one. That is a very fluffy one. That is a great big old bird. They got bunnies. Go pet them. Pet and a chicken. Pet and a bunny. Oh, that's cute, buddy. Yeah. We can watch that show. Like, <laughs> they just like so to look at me and spit and at me. So There's easy. also the fun They part. don't like dad. They're so dumb looking. Hey, llama. It's not a llama, llama. It's an alpaca. Maybe look at Whatever. Hey, llama. Look at He's staring at you. Staring at you. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a mini horse. Oh, I, I want to buy that one. Is he so nice? Have these It's gonna bite you. It's gonna bite you. Yes, it will. It's fine. Just touch it real fast. It was cheap as Punch your brain. That's funny. Oh, now you say something. He's like, you better leave. Fiber again. That's a goat. That's a goat. Their G looks like it's me. Uh, Fiber goats. Hey, Fiber Why don't you touch it? Angora goats. Whoa. The hot belly pig, Dad. Hot belly pig. You love me? No. Look at Seems like for everyone. Oh, my God. It's a coon. It's a coon. Hot belly pig. Oh, my God. There, It's a coon coon. Look at it. It's like 10 foot Look at them. What are they? Little dogs. <laughs> Dad, that one's under the hay. Dad, that one's under the hay. Hey. 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 Poop. You think oh a tiny cow would take a tiny poop? A baby yak. A baby yak. Oh my god, that is adorable. No! Whoa. When I say I got a yak, it doesn't mean I have a long haired buffalo in my backyard. <laughs> oh, look at him. Licorice. They're so cute. They're so cute. Remember when you used to love me, babe? It's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog. Really? What are you scared of? Tarantulas. And? Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Tarantulas are spiders. Good farm, babe.
Go, 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 go. And spiders are running through here. <laughs> hmm. A doe will have two to three kids a year. That's a lot of kids. Goat butts. Goat butts drive you nuts? I filmed with goat butts. Goat butts dirty butts? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it's just gonna sit right there and pee. Oh, And that one spit at me. No, it didn't. Now it's back. Hey, 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 That one doesn't like you at all. <laughs> yeah, almost any day I look like you. Yeah. Wu-Tang! I can tell that one to go. Holy cow butt. Well, sometimes you gotta lay in your own poop, you know? I'd like to go on the strawberries with you here in a minute. Okay. Oh my god, here they go. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fast. This seems so dangerous. Well, you know. I think you girls are tall enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Feels good. You're cold, aren't you? Woo! 
Well, before we get started, there's a couple things you need to know about alligators. The most important thing to know about an alligator is this. Nothing on the planet bites harder than an alligator. 2,500 PSI in their jaws. They can really give you a good cranking bite. The second most important thing to know about an alligator is this. They can go a whole year without eating, but only five minutes before they will pee all over you. We're gonna make this quick. Alligators are well adapted to life in the swamps. They'll sit with just their nose and eyes above the water. When it's time to dive underwater, they can close their nose, have a check valve in their throat, and even a second set of eyelids that goes from front to back, and dictating membranes. They'll put on a clear pair of goggles as they go underwater. Not only that, the most advanced heart system in the world, they can slow that heart down to just one beat a minute. That's pretty amazing, don't you think, Ross? Another amazing thing about an alligator, as long as they live, when their teeth fall out, they just keep getting new ones, unlike most of the people that work in a fair. Here comes the Sorry, I was saying that. So here we go. They say that if you turn an alligator over on his back, you can actually put him to sleep. We're going to have a contest here. Who can do it the fastest, me and Ross? So when I say three, go for it, Ross. Watch him, he cheats, okay? One. Anybody? Oh, oh okay, okay, I got you. Two, three. Oh, oh, he's a little restless. Oh, there he goes. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. Now, what's happening right now is all the blood rushes from his heart and his head, and they just pass out. It's a silly trick that we do, but if you ever are confronted by an alligator, flip him on his back, and he'll go right to sleep. If you can. Ross. Oh my goodness, what a job he has, huh? The alligator snapping turtle. There you go. It is one of the largest fully aquatic turtles in the world. The only time they haul out is to lay their eggs. They're also one of the longest lived reptiles on the planet. They can live 250 years. And we know that because up until the 1980s and 90s, when these were still being harvested heavily for food, they would find Civil War era musket balls in the shells of large adults. Yep, not only that, three big ridges down the back, a long tail, and the most unusual thing about them is the way they hunt, they lay on the bottom of a lake, they open their mouth, inside their mouth a worm-like looking tongue they use to lure fish into their mouth. We're going to show you how that happens. If you pretend this is the fish coming to get the worm, or what he thinks is the worm, this is what could happen. Whoops! Oh, I'm sorry, oh. totally accidental. Oh, great, got it. That's exactly how he eats. That's the alligator snapping turtle. It's one of the biggest fresh water turtles in the world found right here in the United States. That's an amazing animal right there. Okay, all of us know that there's some snakes that live in America. If they bite you, you can actually die. We're going to show you some of the venomous snakes that live right here in America right now. This Ross Baker is going to get them out. Relative of the rattlesnakes, it is in the pit viper family from the southeastern United States, commonly known as the water moccasin or the cottonmouth. Oh, yeah. They get the name cottonmouth from the white interior to the mouth. When they get scared, they'll open that up, hoping to scare off predators. If those predators get closer, the cottonmouth has two hypodermic needle-like fangs that fold down from the front of the mouth. And they'll use those to inject a potent hemotoxic venom that will affect your blood clotting and heart function. We're going to show you just what would happen if you got too close to a cottonmouth. First, they'll open up their mouth. And just that quickly, we'll strike, inject venom, and that's a medical emergency. You've got to get to a hospital as soon as you can. Time to go to the doctor. There's another snake that's a beautiful... Up ...to 10 miles, roaming a range up to 40 miles every day. They stalk their prey with the ability to smell them from a mile away. Working together in a synchronized and skillful effort, this predator can bring down large prey with jaws that can snap bones in half and fangs that can grow to two inches in length. Their skillful hunting keeps them alive and strengthens herds as they predate on the weak, sick, and old. Once believed to be nothing more Did than a nuisance, yeah. this predator is restoring a balance to nature as witnessed by their reintroduction into the Yellowstone National Park in 1995. Herds that were overgrazing the land are now kept on the move by this predator, thereby allowing tree saplings and other native plant species that had nearly been eliminated from the park happy. to flourish he once needs to again. Get out of there. This balance has brought a return of the beaver 
whose numbers had been decimated due to the loss of habitat caused by overgrazing. Today, this predator's numbers are slowly increasing, as is their range. This is the wolf. And one of the most misunderstood animals on the planet is the wolf. How many have ever seen the movie True Blood HBO special? Those were from us, and these are their brothers right here. These guys right here are only 14 months old. They like to play around that all, that little confrontation. That's just brotherly play with these guys. The girls are the ones yeah. that will actually kill each other, not the boys. Well, one of my favorite animals, we have 23 two wolves, and we have black ones as well. But one of my favorite animals is in this cage right here. This is the cougar. 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 One of the most widely distributed wild cats. This really? large cat can be found from Canada to South America, from California to Florida. One of the most perfect predators on the face of the earth. It can jump over 20 feet high and 40 feet in distance in a single leap. And it has been seen jumping from heights of 60 feet. It can reach speeds of 35 miles per hour. Aww. And it can take down a 600 pound moose and drag it up a hill. Stronger than a lion or a tiger pound for pound, its amazing strength makes this mammal truly one of nature's finest predators. Ooh. You may know it as a puma, panther, or mountain lion, but it is best known as the cougar. You have some expectations of you first, though. I'd like you all to remain still because unlike the snakes we've been looking at today that rely on their heat sensing pits or sense of smell to detect what's going on around them, the monocled cobra is going to be watching your movements. So you in the front row, just stay sitting down as we get around. Okay, yeah, good. Got a lot of young. Crazy kids in the front, that's good. That is the albino monocle cobra. One of the most distinctive things about the cobra is their hood. It'll spread out those ribs, letting animals know that they are very dangerous. They have a potent neurotoxic venom and small teeth to chew that in with. This one is an albino, so she lacks dark pigment. She does still have the monocle-like marking on the back of the hood, that eyeglass marking they give them their names. From Southeast Asia, they bite at more people than most other cobras because they live in close proximity to humans, eating rats and mice that are attracted to large food stores. That is the monocle cobra. That's what Especially the, what they call the, the rides that are, um, like, the fire pits there. Uh, yeah. Or interactive.
off me too. But the breeze is coming out now, so it's a little bit nicer. Kelly, she's a little snitch. She's a little what? She could be a little snitch. Yeah. She telling Rayleigh what to do. Oh. She telling the guy what to do. You mean you tell? Super popular. No. <laughs> Heather's jealous. No. <laughs> Heather's jealous. Heather must have a popular crowd. We're gonna ride the rabbit on next. Come on. Yeah.